Menurut perlembagaan Sepatutnya negara kita ini Hanya ada satu aliran sekolah saja Saya gunakan istilah selagi Sepatutnya kita hapuskan sekolah jenis kebangsaan I I don't understand how he came to that conclusion right because there's nothing in the constitution that says you cannot have vernacular schools so in that sense it's not unconstitutional because the constitution doesn't stop you from having vernacular schools now the constitution does not actually mention vernacular schools specifically but if you look at the constitution as a whole we can see that it does allow for the teaching of other languages and that has to be taken in combination with article 12 which says that all educational institutions ought to be treated equally so when we look at the constitution as a whole the 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 um the right to teach and learn in a uh, mother tongue as well as the right to be treated equally amongst all educational institutions it does suggest that vernacular schools are perfectly acceptable and in fact um are actually protected by the constitution i don't think uh, datuk mamak no abdullah was right on that because even though uh, the malay language is the national language but other languages can be can be used can can be developed and i think if you look at uh, article 152 of the federal constitution it's very clear that the government has a duty to 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 give assistance to the uh, development of these languages and i think that in uh, includes also the the assistance and the maintenance of the vernacular schools is, is there a specific a specific clause that, that that says that vernacular schools have a right to exist it doesn't say uh, specifically in 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 black and white about vernacular school but about the 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 use and the 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 development of this language or the languages so i believe that includes vernacular schools not just i believe tamil and, and chinese or mandarin but also other languages should we have probably uh, 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 uh any given language that is still being used and and can be used as 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 a tool of communication for the for the speakers or or, or the community the problem with this a uh, remark is that uh, i think it's also seditious because you you are you are advocating for the abolition of something that has been going on for for ages for years so this is something serious uh, to my mind and this is where i think most people think that his remarks on this vernacular school is seditious the first thing i would say is 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 the uh, the human rights issue lah because you know uh, the right to mother tongue is is today recognized as an international uh, human right uh, and in fact the international H mother tongue day uh, falls on february the 21st so it's seen by the by the world body as a, a fundamental human right so that's the most important thing but in malaysia which means that our constitution federal constitution since 1957 states very clearly in in article 9152 that although bahasa malaysia is the national language you know the right of uh, any minority to learn to use to learn to teach in another language in their mother tongue is a constitutional right under article 152 so we have an international hum, international human right a constitutional right that's taken care of that's why i say i'm very surprised that a, a former uh, appeal court judge could say such a thing time the pain in the neck was malaysia kini.com you just work for the malaysia kini malaysia kini daripada malaysia kini please uh, leave the call go associate me with malaysia kini <laughs> i get into trouble <laughs>